Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon Ashley here, and today's video is about Las Vegas. So, if you're new here, I make tons of Las Vegas videos, tips, tricks, all of that stuff, but I do not foresee myself going to Vegas this year. But I didn't want to leave completely leave out Vegas content for you guys, even though it's August. So I thought I would share my top five favorite Las Vegas hotels. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I actually didn't make another video about Vegas this year. I made a video about my worst hotel experience, and that one was hilarious. So I'll link that down below for you guys to check out. But let's just get into this video. These two hotels kind of go hand in hand together with how I'm thinking, and that is valleys in paris they're actually connected to each other which is cool but i really liked valleys because the rooms are huge so you can book one bedroom and bring an air mattress if you're on that budget life and they were pretty clean i think they've redone them now so they're probably even better so i really like valleys and paris is just so like the outside is so nice and the inside's nice too it still does just feel like a hotel room but it's pretty big the decor is okay and the both times I stayed at Bally's and Paris, it was just a regular two bedroom suite, so nothing like too crazy. Not suite, just a two bedroom guest room, so nothing too crazy. But I did enjoy my time there. I don't remember like checking out the pools or anything when I went there, but I do remember really liking, they have a really good buffet at Paris. And I really like the casino area. They have like a good food court with like Panda Express, Chipotle, all of that. I would find myself there a lot. And then at Bally's, I don't know what it is, but I love the casino floor. I got carded there a lot, but I also won some good money there. Not like tons of money, but like it was probably the first casino I actually won money. I'm not a huge gambler, so that's that. But I do like, like when I gamble in Vegas, I usually go to Bally's. Like those machines right there are like, where I feel like they're my winning machines. But those two hotels, if I had to choose a number five, those would be number five. Okay, so number four will always have a special place in my heart because this is the very first hotel I stayed at my very first time in Las Vegas. And I, as a 21 year old, I did not film that. I was about to say I filmed that, but I didn't. But I do think I have a video of me staying at Planet Hollywood, so I will link that below. But yeah, I love Planet Hollywood. It's just so like girly, glam, glitz. Like it just literally just feels like Vegas. And I'll, maybe because I'm from LA and I enjoy Hollywood, that's why I like, like the Hollywood part of it. But I really like Planet Hollywood. The rooms are very well decorated they make you really feel like you're in Vegas and I love the restaurants there I love the shopping there it's really like one of those places it's just like a one like feels like a resort you don't have to leave it's like right in the middle not in the middle of the strip but it's like in a happening part of the strip so if you stay there I promise you will not be disappointed I also really like their pool the past few times I've been there they didn't have a pool party so if you're looking for you know a I don't think they have a pool party party period I know they have like it's not like really a nightclub but it's like a lounge that you can go to there I've never been um but it's just one of those hotels where if you don't want to be so much in the party midst of everything you could stay there because you don't have to see people like in their bikinis and stuff walking around but you could still have like that fun Vegas feeling so I really like Planet Hollywood really just for like a girl's trip or even just for like friends but it's just like it's probably like one of the most perfect affordable Vegas hotels. Okay, number three is going to be Mandalay Bay slash the Delano. But I stayed at the Delano, we got we booked a suite and it had a bedroom and it also had um, a couch. It wasn't a pullout couch or anything. Nevertheless, it had two bathrooms or one and a half bathroom, which was nice when you were staying with like a large group of people, you're gonna want that. Hotel's very clean has lots of amenities and I really just like kind of like Planet Hollywood where it's just like a one stop because it's really far down the strip so if you're going to stay at Mandalay Bay expect to pay taxis or expect I wouldn't even walk just expect to pay like taxis and been, not been Lyft or Uber to get to the fun popping part of the strip but what I liked about Mandalay Bay is that they have you know the beach where it's like this fake pool but like it has waves and stuff that it's just really fun for you to hang out at and they also have like the nightclubs they also have shows they also have the day clubs and these are like really fun 
day and night clubs you really don't have to leave the resort at all like you can get your whole vegas experience just staying there granted yeah you're gonna want to go check out and walk the strip a little bit but like i feel like a lot of times when you compromise where you stay at vegas you feel like you always have to go 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 but if you stay at like Mandalay Bay, everything's there. So you just like wake up, walk down to the pool, it's popping, you know, don't have to do the most. And yeah, when we stayed there, it was a really good time just because we did not have to like, like it just felt like you were on vacation. Like everything was there at your hotel, people were nice. If anything, I'd say like, <laughs> if you really just want that like resort hotel feeling, then Planet Hollywood, Mandalay Bay, like those are great places to stay. All right, so now we are at the top two and I'm excited to share these ones. So number two is the Marriott Chateau. I love this hotel. It's so family friendly and maybe that's why I like it, but it's also just so perfect. It's literally like, what are those things called? Um, why do I always forget stuff when I'm talking to you guys? It's literally like a timeshare type of hotel where you can, like Marriott has tons of timeshares, so that's how it feels, but the rooms are so big. They feel like an apartment, so you can like cook there. The couple times I've stayed, we've got in a two bedroom. So you can have like so many people. So it has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, also has a pull out couch, full kitchen, has cuts, blenders, all that stuff. So you literally can get like a nice home away from home feeling there, if you get what I'm saying. And it's very affordable. I've always like used that hotel to save money. It's very clean and it's right next to Planet Hollywood. So it's not directly on the strip either. So if you wanna be somewhere where you're super close to the strip, you could still walk to the strip and not, I'm not talking about, when I say walk to the strip, you guys, five, 10 minutes walking. I'm not saying like this 20 minute excursion, no. It's literally like Planet Hollywood's across the street. So you can like walk across the Planet Hollywood, cut through, you're on the strip. That's what I love about this hotel. The pool's okay, you know, very family friendly though. And the rooms though, and the price is really what gets it for me. Super safe as well. To get to your room, you have to show your hotel card. So that's what I always like. It's like, you're not gonna have weird people in the hallways. If you guys saw my other video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, I really, really, really liked staying at Marriott Chateau. I've stayed there at least three or four times because like that is such a nice hotel to me. It's not the glitz and the glam. It's just like the comfort, the home away from home feeling that I enjoy. Okay, number one. If you know me, you know what I'm gonna say. And that is the Venetian slash Palazzo. I, I've stayed at both. They're essentially the same hotel, you guys. They just have different names. I'm sure there's something different about them, but I just, I love it. I love staying there. The rooms are just so beautifully decorated. And when you walk in, it's just so glamorous, so glit, so Vegas. I love it. They have amazing restaurants. They have the day club and the night club there, which I don't like either one. I don't really care for town personally, but it's, I guess it could still be a good time. Personally, I don't care for it. So yeah, if I'm going to stay anywhere in Vegas, like my first choice is gonna be Tower of Venetian, just because rooms are spacious, they're beautiful. You can get quite a few people in there. You really feel like you're getting your bang for your buck when you're walking around. They have really pretty store shops, great food. And it's just like, it's kind of like the older 20, like when you're in your like mid to, late 20s like that's the place to stay all these other hotels when you're in your early 20s people say it doesn't matter where you stay i beg to differ but those are nice granted you guys these are just my top five i know there's tons of other really nice hotels to stay at and some that i've never stayed at i've stayed at caesar's i've stayed at the link you guys go watch that video and i've also stayed at excalibur I'm trying to think of where else i've stayed and that's just like what we're competing with. I also know of the other hotels like Flamingo, Treasure Island, all of that. I pretty much walked into most of these hotels. So I know what I'm talking about when I say my top five. As far as like luxury stuff, I still would love to stay at Bellagio, The Wynn. What are the other ones? Cosmo. I'd love to stay at Cosmo. I'm sure I, to be honest, I'm shocked I still haven't stayed at the Cosmo. But yeah, those are just my favorites. I want to know what your guys' favorites are below, what you guys think of my favorites. Am I missing out? Am I too bougie? Am I too broke? Let me know down in the comments below. And if I do decide to go to Vegas this year, I will be sure to vlog it. It just doesn't seem 
like that much fun to me right now when i go to vegas i'm not gonna say like i'm really like party crazy type of girl but i do like my pool parties and my nightclubs and i know they're happening right now but it's just like table reservations and your girls don't really like to pay when she goes period so it's like i don't know if i do go you guys will know of course i will make a video but if you really want to know if i go follow me on instagram because i love to post on there and yeah, I am so happy that you guys chose to watch this video. And if you stayed here this long and you're not subscribed, it's like you should just go ahead and do it. And you should also watch some more of my Vegas videos. So I will put them right here in the playlist down below. And also let me know what you guys want to know else about Vegas. Again, I do not live there. I just go there to have fun. Just fun. Nothing crazy. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.